Hi guys, I'm Mark Von Olin, and I'm the brand manager of entertainment here at Tops, working on Star Wars. And I am David Waldeck, product development on Star Wars. We are here today to break open two boxes of Star Wars The Force Awakens Series 1 trading cards. Um, this, this is the hobby version, so you'll find two hits per box. And this set uh, chronicles characters and storyline from the new film Star Wars The Force Awakens. Uh, so we're just going to jump right in. You want to do that box? And I'll do this box. Perfect. That way we're both guaranteed to pull some hits. Should have pre ripped this. So. We could have a box war. We can go faster. <laughs> we're going to try to move this along, you guys. So there are 100 base cards in this product. Uh, the first 60 cards are all characters and vehicles from the new film. Um, and a lot of these guys are even background characters whose names are not revealed in the movie. So we've got some extra information um, in our cards, especially um, if you haven't seen the movie yet. There's a big scene um, in a castle with lots of different characters. We've got names and little mini bios uh, for all of them. And then the last 30 card, 40 cards are all storyline from the film, covering uh, pretty much the first act. And you'll get eight cards per pack, and you'll see the little hobby logo on there. That's how you'll, you'll know that you're getting the hobby version that has the hits. So I'm just going to start ripping into mine. Let's see. Oh, got General Hux. Tasu Leech. Oh, we've got a sticker already. Um, it's the Snow Trooper. One of the montage cards. There's eight of these to collect, and these feature um, characters from the new I film. Got, uh, Anthony Daniels autograph here. Oh, that's awesome. Along with Poe. Flame Trooper. Quiggled. I want to move cards. Got a green, green pose interrogation parallel. Oh, I have a green parallel too. Nice. Your hit is fantastic. So Anthony Daniels, of course, has been C three PO um, across all seven of the films. Um, so very exciting. He's one of he signs for us all the time. He's great. Um, let's see, in my pack I also pulled a purple parallel. Are we allowed to talk spoilers during this? No, we should do spoiler free. So this this box break will be spoiler free. Um, you will see imagery from the first third of the film in terms of action. In fact, this is a storyline card right here that shows the chase scene through the um, Star Destroyer. Okay, I've got a blue parallel. It's one of our more common parallels. I've got a behind the scenes card. There's JJ um, playing with BB-8. Me and Nub, one of our characters. Oh, I've got some concept art. There we go. We actually have um, quite a number of inserts. There are more insert cards than there are story uh, base cards. Uh, there are 101 insert cards uh, featuring concept art, behind the scenes, stickers, uh, movie scenes, um, montages, the first order rises. It goes on and on. We've got a ton of stuff in this product. I just got a Chewie's Bowcaster. Oh, nice. Green parallel for Ray flying the Falcon, and I pulled a gold parallel medallion card. Your pulls are killing it. So Dave has pulled an Anthony Daniels autograph and a gold medallion um, in the same box. That is awesome. And as you can see on the front, this is numbered to 45 uh, for the medallion pieces. This is Ray uh, with, her resistant, with the Resistance X-Wing. Um, it's a nice hefty card, too. Can you see how thick that is? Um, so we'll be giving these away on social media. So obviously follow us on Facebook.com, official top Star Wars. We'll be giving away the Anthony Daniels autograph as well as the uh, gold medallion. Let's see. TIE Fighter, Kylo's Command Shuttle, Prester, Omelin. Nice. Yeah, a lot of these guys who you don't really know their names, like here's Constable um, Zuvio. He's in the film for, what, 10 seconds or something? But we've got a character card for him as well as a little bio on the back explaining uh, what he does. And he's sort of the sheriff over at Nima Outpost. We also have, um, Dave already showed you one of the weapons, Chewie's Bowcaster. We've got a weapons insert where you can collect all 10, and then a locations insert as well. So this is the Starkiller base. Um, oh, it's upside down. There you go. So that's the Starkiller base. And on the back, it has a little, um, almost like a bio on the different locations. So you can learn all about uh, what Starkiller base is all about. There's nine of those to collect. Got a tie pilot. Lord Santeca. Oh, it's Max Mancito. I I got a free pack of cards from Card Trader. Oh, nice. 
So right, there should be two per hobby box. You'll be getting uh, a free pack in the Star Wars Card Trader app. And on the back, there's a code. Um, the code is not unique, um, so every fan name can use it once, and you get yourself a free pack. Yeah. And then I got a gold parallel. Oh, nice. I Ray just bought one of those. I've got a gold parallel of Kylo talking to Darth Vader's mask. Uncar Plutt, who Simon Pegg. Nice. He was great in that role. Yeah. Let's see. What else do I have over here? Got another weapon. Put our weapons together. I got Uncar's character card. Did you pull? Like, did you get a purple yet? Purple. I just got a yep. purple too. Purple parallel right there. I pulled a new insert. Um, this is the First Order Rises. So this is almost like propaganda posters um, for the First Order. So it's Kylo Ren and Phasma, the different types of troopers. Um, great little montages of them with your vehicles and weapons and everything. And in fact, here's one of the ships that are in the base set. So this is the First Order um, Snow Speeder. So we have like the Falcon and an X-Wing and a whole bunch of other uh, ships that are in the base set. Here's another concept art card. <laughs> I love these guys. Oh, the triplets, the half triplets. Nice. They are also prominently featured in the castle scene. Oh, here we go. The leader of the resistance, General Organa. You'll notice that she's not referred to as Princess Leia anymore. She's the general. She's, she's the new Mon Mothma. Oh, nice. And then here's Ray on her sticker. So this is a full bleed sticker, and there are 18 of them to collect. And it's all the main characters you'll see on the back. Um, collect all 18. I'm a fan of these. I like these a lot. There's more concept art. Oh, I've got the other card trader pack. Tazu Leech. Oh, here's Han and Chewie coming home. Oh, I've got Tasu Leech in green. Nice. Hmm. We should mention the gold parallels are sequentially numbered to 100. Um, and then we've got our imperial red parallel. Uh, there's a, a stack of them to chase. Snap Wexley. Oh, there we go. Greg Runberg from Heroes. Probably what he's most well known for. I keep calling him Parkman. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what we were around the office. We referred to him as Parkman. <laughs> Um, there's Lord Santeca. Oh, here's another sticker card, and this is R2 and C3PO. I'm going to make a little pile for all the stickers right here. So, so far we have the Snow Trooper, C3PO, and R2-D2, and Ray. Oh, this guy, what was the Crimson Corsair? What was his real name? Is he uh, Captain something something? He's the guy that Finn was going to... I mean, uh... Yeah. Captain Ithano. Ithano. Is that it? Yeah. Ithano? Look at this keep these guys safe. I gotta get those in the plastic. Robin um, Joe. Oh, I like him. He's in line behind Ray at the NEMA outpost. Yeah. These are Some of these guys are like Lincoln. Hey, man, no spoilers. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. He's integral to the plot, you guys. Um, of course, shop. Mark and I had a fight to get this card included. Yeah, I feel like this was a thing. Everybody thought it was boring. Yeah, I like it, though. I do, too. You're like... Oh, he's got some plates and some bowls in there. Yeah, like, you can see that there's, like, a whole thing happening here. Um, it's clearly a set shot, but uh, I think there's a lot of story in here. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Because you don't actually see that in the movie. You just right. see... Right, because here's actually what the movie scene looks like. You'll actually notice that the movie scenes um, are still frames that are painted over by artist Brian Rudd. Um, Rude. R I always do that. It's like two Rude. Ds that do it. Uh, Brian Rudd, uh, friend of Tops. Um, I think you have him in your phone. Yeah, with my buddy. So uh, Dave knows Brian very well. And clearly, I know him so well that I mispronounced his name. Um, he did this beautiful art. So it's all still frames that are then painted over. Um, mm -hmm. And it tells the first third of the movie, basically. Nima Marketplace over here. Ray and Ninja. Ninja disguise. How nice. I like her in her full outfit with the mask and everything. I think it's super cool. Oh, I, like I have a head. So I pulled a medallion, and mine is a bronze medallion, um, also featuring Ray with her Resistance X-Wing. There are a ton of medallions in the set. We wanted to make it um, 
really fun for everyone to chase. Uh, the total number we have is 56, and it's a stack of characters from both the Resistance and the First Order with two different medallion types for each side. So the Resistance has two medallions, the First Order has two different medallions, um, and then every and then there are lots of different characters on each, and then some are short printed as well. And the short prints are with gold medallions and sequentially numbered to 10. Um, so be on the lookout for those. There's quite a number to chase. It's a nice thick card too, but you still get two regular cards in the pack. So this will be a medallion and two cards in your pack. But on blue, I've got some more concept art. Oh, I've got another location card. I love the way the location cards turned out. A lot of them are set photography, so it isn't like an action shot from the film. But this is the resistance base. You can really see... Um, what their sort of setup is. It's very low res, right? Like this is very, or low tech. Um, you know, they've got their big screen um, that's very similar to what we saw in Empire um, and even in the original Star Wars. Uh, but you can tell it's very underground, like bunker. We've got Ray's character card. Nice. This guy, Colonel, Colonel Datu, who was, he was like the, yeah, the leader at Starkiller Base. I like him. I thought he was the same guy from Crystal Skull. The oh, Russian guy? I don't think he is, but I thought that's who it was. I think that's Rocky Marshall. So I'll double one? check. I'm going to double check. Um, some more interesting creatures. Baba Joe is Ray on blue. Oh, and then we've got Matt. Oh, here's Maz's Castle. So this is the location we've been talking about. This is an interior shot of Maz's Castle. Um, Maz, and this is not a spoiler, is voiced by Lupita Nyango, um, Nyango. Um, through motion capture, and this is the castle that she has where we meet a lot of the interesting creatures in the film. Hey, okay. I have a sketch card from Ingrid Hardy. And we have a very limited uh, sketch artist list for this product. I believe there are 20 artists um, in the whole product. Uh, it's a little more. I think it's 24. 24, 23, 24. 24. Yeah. yeah, very small select group, hand-selected by Lucasfilm. Um, doing very specific artwork, which we're very excited about, and, and they look fantastic. So um, we'll be giving this away on social media. Again, follow us, facebook.com, official top Star Wars. We'll keep that safe over there. I, lo I love her painting style. It's so cool. I've got this kind of neat movie scenes car. You can see some of the different creatures and stuff that are in Maz's castle. And this dude, remember, it's like lugging a net full of junk. Oh, that's right. right. Crusher. Nice. <clears throat> oh, and here's Admiral Akbar, one of our saga heroes. He um, is back uh, at the Resistance base. Looks like they never stopped fighting this war. And it's still Tim Rose and Eric Bowersfeld bringing that character to life, which is very exciting. I mean, people were excited about Harrison Ford and Mark Hamill, but I was excited about Admiral Akbar. Absolutely. Me and Noom. I met both of them this year at Rhode Island Comic Con, and they're the nicest guys. Um, and... Tim Rose has signed autographs for us in the past pretty frequently. Um, his autographs are in this set, along with Mike Quinn and Mia Nub and many other Saga people returning. Um, Eric Bowersfeld will be signing autographs for us in the set later this year. So we're very excited to have Eric on board as well. He's actually the voice who says it's a trap. So Tim Rose is in the costume. Eric Bowersfeld is the voice. Oh, I like her. Show everyone the Corsella card. So she's in a very important scene for all of like three seconds. Well, that was I was surprised that because Villasham, Villasham or Villacham, yeah, like you see Corsella and they're just like, and you look up and that's it. Like, yeah, you know. So we won't spoil any of the plot um, in which in the scene in which she's in. If you've seen the movie, you know what we're talking about. Beyond the lookout for her. This, if you're watching this video, you've seen the movie. I hope so. Go see the movie if you haven't seen it yet, because I do. I, I'm trying to keep it spoiler free, but. She, um, you actually have good information on her from the back of this card. Uh, Leia relies on Porcella, a young envoy, to make her case for the Senate to take direct action against the First Order. That's not clear from the film. We just see that she's there with the Senate um, in a very important scene. Um, there's more about her, too, in the Visual Dictionary. Yeah, I, I gotta say, the Visual Dictionary that came out uh, from DK is pretty great. Oh, yeah. No, it's I love pretty it. great in, in terms of giving you some history and some extra information on a lot of the stuff that's happening in the movie. So we've got bios on our cards. They've got very deep bios in their book as well. So it's definitely a purchase worth getting. Raise. Oh, no, this is Leia's blaster. I don't think she used her blaster in the film. No, I think it was holstered. Yeah, I feel like she didn't um, attack anyone other than verbally assaulting Han. <laughs> oh, here's Ray. So this is Ray's home. Um, it's inside her attic. And here's her speeder. Oh, BB-8. 
Oh, nice. Another, oh. Got another montage card. You guys have probably seen that picture before. Here's this this shot. Oh, that's that's what started it all, didn't it? So that picture was tweeted out um, by JJ, I think, during the first, I guess it's the first script read or whatever, when they were gathering everyone together. And it sort of broke the internet. I remember that was the first information we had really gotten about the new film that was official coming from Lucasfilm. Um, and I like this scene a lot. Uh, this is one of the, we have a movie scenes insert to cover content that is uh, outside of the first third of the film. So you'll see storyline cards that cover the first third um, in this sort of painted style. And then we've got an insert of 20 cards that are various scenes throughout the film. And they're a little bit out of order and they don't give away too much of the plot. Um, but they, they give you some important moments. So this is... Ray and Han in the Falcon together, and we find out through the movie that she's an excellent pilot and has great instincts for engineering and things like that. So um, it's very cool to watch that dynamic take place. I actually think their relationship on screen is my favorite, the two of them. They've got like overlapping dialogue at some points. It's, re it's really well done. Yeah, here's C-3PO, who you might not recognize because of his <laughs> red arm. I love when he says that, it's so funny. <laughs> Oh, there's Kylo Ren on a green parallel. And then here's his command shuttle. His shuttle, all right, Dave, you know the ships better than anyone. The shuttle that Vader and the Emperor had, the wings weren't up when they were flying, or am I getting it wrong? They started up, and when yeah. they would fly, and when they, they, fly, they, they go down, down, right? Yeah. But these wings stay up when they fly. Or they, they can they, stay They up. fold out, and then yeah. they extend. They go up, and it's yeah. like data collection and shielding or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that design is... Like a little bit different from the original, but it's super cool looking on screen. I thought every time his his ship was on screen, it looked really it looked really real, but looked really fantastic. Yeah, some of these some of these Brian Root cards look real. Yeah, it's like hard to one, tell. Like that looks like a real movie scene. Yeah, if you didn't tell me it was painted, I probably would just think that it was real. Same with this one. gonna say Brian painted them all. Yeah, one of the neat things about the car these cards that I noticed while watching the movie is that a lot of the scenes that we use mm -hmm. are different from how they actually took place in the movie. So, you know, this card is Finn basically, you know, being interrogated or being confronted by Phasma. And in here, it's, it's happening in the hallway of the Star Destroyer, but in the movie, it takes mm -hmm. place in the troop transport. That's right. He goes back inside and then takes his helmet off. And he never looks at her. He's always looking front-facing to the camera. Yeah. And she's talking at him, basically. Yeah. So there's, there's some other things um, that we use throughout here that are a little different from you know, what wound up in the movie. We've been busy here working on product, trying to get this out on time, Please. and we're busily working on Series 2. And Series 2 is going to be a little different in that it'll be 100 storyline cards straight through telling the whole story of the film, um, and then a bunch of different inserts and uh, new autograph signers to be announced, which we're very excited about. Um, so we'll share with you the current checklist for this um, before we close out the video, and then maybe tease you with a little bit of something for Series 2. So yeah, I got a, I got a Finn Heavy pack here. I got his character card and his FN... 2187 card. Oh, nice. I like the cool two versions. shot of him and Hong. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, their dynamic's really good, too. Yeah, I like... I think wound up being a really good character. Yeah. I, I, I think that um, if you haven't seen the movie yet, um, prepare yourself that Daisy's going to steal the movie. But Han is great, and there's Han's character. I don't part. know. Finn, Finn was... Finn was no, not too shabby himself. No, not at all. I think they did a good job casting in general. I liked every character. Everybody, they had good chemistry. Yeah. Finn, you know, Finn had good chemistry with, with, with uh, uh, Ray. Yep. And Han and yeah. Poe, I thought. Um, yeah, no, across the board, I thought it was fantastic. So this is um, 100 base cards, and you can see a lot of them spread out over here. Most of them um, are in this pile. Yeah, pretty much. We probably have a full set here. Uh, there are actually 60 base character cards that cover characters and vehicles. And then 40 storyline cards that cover basically the first third of the film. And that's that painted design that Brian Rood did. Um, we've also got a bunch of different inserts. Stickers, there are 18 of those. There are nine locations. There are 20 movie scenes. 20 concept arts. So there's a lot of those to chase. Uh, eight character montages. Seven behind the scenes. Ten weapons. 
and nine montages of the First Order Rises that are very propaganda style. We also have 56, I'm sorry, it's actually, we have 66 different medallions to chase. It's a lot. So there are 15 medallion cards uh, for the Resistance with an X-Wing medallion, and then another 15 for the Resistance with the Resistance symbol medallion. There are 12 First Order medallion cards um, using the First Order symbol, um, the first version, and then there's a second version um, with another 12, and then there are four First Order short prints. So we've got a very exciting autograph list for this product. We're only able to use the principal cast, so you'll see the autograph list is a little small, but they're all super high value. Um, Carrie Fisher as General Leo Organa, Anthony Daniels as C-3PO, which is the one we pulled, um, and we'll be giving that away on social media, Kenny Baker as R2-D2, Peter Mayhew as Chewbacca, Mike Quinn as Nia Nub, Tim Rose as Admiral Akbar, Warwick Davis as Wolliban, so you might know him as... Um, as playing Wicket the uh, Ewok from Return of the Jedi. Harrison Ford is in as a retro autograph redemption, um, so those will be in-house soon. We also then have brand new signer John Boyega Finn himself, um, which we're very excited about, and a mystery redemption that we'll be announcing very, very soon. We're very excited about whoever he or she might be. Um, we've got some great dual autographs, Carrie Fisher with Anthony Daniels, Anthony Daniels with Kenny Baker, Mike Quinn and Tim Rose, and then Anthony Daniels and Peter Mayhew. And then our triple is Carrie Fisher, Peter Mayhew, and Anthony Daniels. So some of our classic saga actors. And we also have a costume piece. So we haven't had a costume piece in a while, but we were able to get our hands on a legitimate screen-worn First Order Stormtrooper costume. And we broke it up into um, a bunch of pieces. Um, you can collect the chest, corset, pauldrons, upper arm, forearm, thigh, back, lower leg, seat, and canister. Um, and then different parallels across those. There's a lot of different pieces to chase, and it's a super chunky, thick card. It's awesome. Thank you for joining us, guys, to do this box break for Force Awakens Series 1, and be on the lookout for Series 2 in stores this March.